Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing. Let's do some Tuesday lunchtime laps. For today, I'm going to be looking at a few of the NASCAR I have set out that I've ran before in the past. And I'm going to, I'm going to run a few today and just kind of go through them and see if anything will be worth reworking. And see if we got any speed. We need another three cars to enter into the uh, the flea market race. That's what I think I'm going to call it. Two one eight. Not very good. Not very good. Let's see what this one runs. We'll have 16 cars to run. And I did make a I did make a flea market haul video, but I didn't like it. So I'm gonna wait for Isaiah. He's gonna help me make a good one. <clears throat> At least a little better than I did. And uh, so we'll eliminate this one. And 2179 is not very good. Let's see what else we got here. Pennzoil. There's an old cereal box one. Never gets any speed, this Roadrunner. Some cars you just wish were faster, and that is one I wish was faster for sure. For sure. Eh, I see what I mean. 218. <clears throat> Just not good times. Not good times at all. Yeah. So not much. You would think this car would be faster, but maybe not. Yep. Let's try this Kroger one and this number six Valvoline. Maybe he's got some speed. Only one way to tell. Send him. Ooh, oh, 2096. Hey, hold on. He's got he's got some speed. I think we found our next contestant. Let's keep going through them. We'll just eliminate those. Wow. I like that. <clears throat> Let's see what he runs in this other lane. Nice. Pretty consistent. All the stuff that is just laying around in boxes over here at Elevation. I'm telling you, I've got tons and tons. I've got to go through them, and a little at a time is just how you do it. 2098, that's, that's a winner in my book. He's going to get a red dot. Let's try out this. How much does this McDonald's car weigh? I, I think he's under 30. Nope, thirty-one one. Right on the right on the line there. If I remember right, this swagger car was ultra slow. They had the McDonald's car beat him. <laughs> Alright, those two are out. Alright, Hunt Brothers Pizza and the Skittles car. Yeek. All right, we'll run the skills car against Alka Seltzer. And see where these land. 2176. Let's we'll see if that Napa can beat it. Yeah. What a slug. Also, if I remember right, the Sharpie car was 
no bueno. Oakwood Homes with a 2162. That's going to put out Skittles. 2162, which means he should run a little faster in this lane. 2147. Eh. Still not competitive. Let's see. Dodge Charger. few of these cars but none of them are fast hey that one's hey 213 that's not too awful bad but still not competitive 213 isn't gonna win you any races here that's for sure unless we're racing just main lines out of the package 2123 all right all right, last two. We got a Sprint PCS, and a Tracker Off-Road, whatever that is. Bass Pro Shops. I know what that is. Jeez. My goodness. Okay. Let's rework these two and come back and see what they do. And of course, we'll run them down Graphite Alley. Whew. He came in hot. Let us see where they land. Not even close. 2097 to a 1 2. There is a different variant of it, number 22 and a 31 to 40. He is a little different. Got a couple of NASCARs in here. Wish that Pro Stocker was faster. He, I think he's worn out or he just needs a rework or I don't know what he needs. We'll keep working with them as long as they're in the case. Of course, one of the Thunderbird Stockers right there. Mountain Dew Stalker, one of the many bipolar Fairmonts, got another one up, up here, got a few, got a few, got a few, old Kyle, Kyle's a roller, got two Kyles in there in the top tier. But with a 2097 on the inside, what can he do on the outside? 2085. Oh my Lanta. Well, there's the next entry into the race. Not bad. Here's a preview of the cars that didn't make it from the flea market. They have speed, but just not enough speed. All right, there's a look at number 13 and 14 in the 16 car tournament. The antique tournament, I don't know what to call it. Antique runs. The Lucy Lot, I think I'm gonna call it the Lucy Lot race. And we got a couple minutes. Let's roll something else. Since we're messing with NASCAR. Limited edition racing champions. Have not had very much success with the racing champions at all. I don't know, let me know what you think of this one. If you know anything about this, if it isn't fast, I'd rather just keep it on the... Yeah, the card's busted. Hang on. The collector in me still wants to save everything. 32.8. Not real sure how that's going to roll, but we're going to find out. <laughs> Not very good. Let's try it again. 216. 11,000... Improvement. 
215. So if you have this one, just leave him in the package. He's a dud. Go from that to this Dale Earnhardt Jr. Winner Circle. Removable chassis. Hmm. Magnetic power, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think about opening that. I know I'm a Dale Earnhardt fan. It does have a wrinkled package, but I don't know. If it's not fast, I don't want to mess with it. But we will, however, open up this Toyota. I think he's going to run in the 230s, 240s. Ooh, 222. Let's go take him to the speed shop. Now, that car dusted up really good. We'll see if it's got anything on the quarter mile. Just because he's fast in the graphite alley doesn't mean he's fast on the drag strip. That's why we test him. 2124 is not that awful bad. Definitely faster than what I've seen out of most of the new ones. 2112, let's go. Look at this thing running. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not. Let's see what this thing weighs. Just out of curiosity. 2112, he could possibly get faster. 31 to 40 weight class. All right. 31 to 40. That is the shark. Shark shifter holding the gatekeeper spot. Well, this would be for the gate of the 31 to 40. Man, look at him go. I can't believe this just beat the shark. That's cool. That's really cool. The ever controversial Toyota Camry and NASCAR. Just beat the shark shifter of the Kenner Fast Ones. Let's see how far he can climb. It's the Factory 500 Shelby. Shelby ain't having it, but only by 1,000. I think that NASCAR can get him. He did get him. Well, it was a tie. So we're going to have to run him again. 2-1... One seven and a one thousand speed. So we'll run them. Let's run them solo laps. Fastest lap after lane swap. Two one two two. Two one one seven. Factory five hundred. Two one one three. He already got him. So he'll take the spot. Two one oh eight. Wow. A new gatekeeper. And since that Shelby ran that two one oh eight, let's roll him against the Firebird and see if he can climb his way up a little. No. <laughs> negative Ghost Rider negative. Two one oh seven and a five thousand speed. Nope. Not happening. All right, that's going to be it for Tuesday's edition of Lunchtime Laps. Tomorrow I'll roll out some more and see if we can get position 15 filled. And then we'll do a we'll do a Lucy lot. Once we get positions 15 and 16 filled, we'll do the Lucy lot. Decide your ride. And that'll also be um, the other, the picks that had speed out of 28, 12 of them were fast. So here's a look at what you'll see in the pick video that Isaiah wants to do. One of my favorites. 
classic caddy. No, this is a 31 doozy. Let's just close it out with a 31 doozy classic caddy race. I hope you folks are having a good week. And this is some classic die cast candy heading down the lane. Remember, if your car isn't fast, at least it'll look good on the shelf.